Okay, Marcia. Ready to go? One for Keely. <laughs> hello, 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 my happy quilters, and welcome once again to the Marcia and Joy Show coming to you here live at Pine Needles Quilt and Sew in Rochester, Minnesota. Fun times because today we're going to talk about all things Quilt Minnesota. The um, all state Quilt Minnesota shop hop that's been going, I think this is year number 17, 17th annual, um, starts <laughs> next week, I think on Friday. I think next. Yes. Friday, not this Friday, but next Friday. And we have been working on all the new fab, uh, with the new fabrics on all sorts of fun new kits and things. And I'm going to show you the fabrics here. Now you can pre order these fabrics. They cannot go out of the store until the shop hop officially begins. But right. we have got tubs and tubs of people's orders in our back room. And same with those of you that are ordering online, they will just be mailed out on Friday morning then. So Excellent. you won't have to wait too long for them, but uh, a lot of fun. We want you to like, comment and share this video. And you want to tell them why? I will. And I see my certificates over there, but like, comment and share <laughs> for a chance to win a gift certificate for $10 to our store. It can be used both in the store or online and two will be drawn randomly one will be for our lucky trivia winner so make sure you stay tuned for the trivia question mm, absolutely we always got a fun trivia question we do so anyways we we're talking about summer things and it's been hot and summery and all sorts of things we <laughs> finally been. here got a little bit of rain it's been spotty here and there but um, it has been a blessing so joy Yes. <laughs> what did the air conditioner say to the man? What did the air conditioner say to the man? I am your biggest fan. Oh. <laughs> That's a good one. I know. We gotta remember to tell tell Todd this afternoon. Absolutely. So which is faster, heat or cold? Which is faster, heat or cold? I don't know. Which is faster, Marcia? Heat, because you can catch a cold. Oh, heard it here first. <laughs> you sure did. All right, those are actually really good ones. Those are those are in my top ten favorite. I can't remember what the other nine were, but, but those are good. Okay, so well, that, yeah, they're eight, yeah. I guess. Absolutely. All right, so let us start and talk about Quilt Minnesota. And um, because I don't have a fat quarter pack here with me, I'm going to open up this layer cake, and I'm going to show you some of the fun fabrics that we have in Quilt Minnesota 2023. All right, let's have a look. Okay, I'll give you this part and this part. So I think there's maybe two, maybe not. So anyways, here is um, a really pretty tossed print. This is directional, but with the lady slippers, the deer, porcupine, lawn chairs, hummingbirds, all things Minnesota here, daisies, fun things and here it is I believe this is the same one it is only it has the beige background or the blue background on this one so the toss print and then we have this one which has a beige background and the blue background and this is tossed Minnesota so it has these um, you can see the it's um, random though um, the silhouette of the state of Minnesota now look at that little stinker. A little stinker. Who, who it is a stinker. On there? <laughs> There's skunks on there. Yeah. So this is kind of a um, little bit of each of the fabrics um, put on here with either the beige or the blue background. I love these florals this year. I do too. So we have one um, with the kind of brown background. We've got one with this green background, which is real pretty. We have the blue and also the purple. That's lavender. Very pretty. It's kind of a different, it's not really purple, it's not really lavender. It's kind of a. I'm going to say orchid. You know, orchid color. This reminds me of the orchids. So, aren't these really pretty? So, we have these in all the colors. And then, of course, would not be Minnesota without your lady slipper prints. So, we have this one with the uh, beige background, and then this one has the blue background. So whatever you prefer, lady slippers, they are. And the Minnesota hummingbirds. 
we have them as well. This is the beige background and the green background and also the pretty blue background. Aren't those pretty? They're gorgeous. So toss, they're non-directional, so you can put them in your quilts any way you want, and it's not going to matter. Then we have the Minnesota Words. These are always very, very popular. I love them this year. I think they're really a nice I do too. scale I like the, and fun. This one has the multicolors, and then this one is greens on green. It's very pretty. And blues on blue. Not pretty? They are pretty. Multicolor beige, greens on greens and blues on blue. These I really love. These are kind of watercolory, marbly backgrounds that match the fabrics. Then they are really pretty this year. So beige, green, this kind of light blue gray, and then the darker blue. Very, very lovely. So those are some of the blenders. Here are some more of the blenders, and these are kind of some little dots with the creamy beige, the bright sunshine yellow, that would be daisy yellow, and then a gold, and we have a purple dark orchid, a red, a green. They're so pretty. They really are, and the blue. So these blenders and the ones underneath here, I just love them. They're just, I mean, these could go in any quilt, really. They sure could. But they yep. certainly do match the Minnesota fabrics nicely. And then there's this dotted line, which comes in brown, yellow, purple, and red. Love, so, love, love, love yeah, them, I, I absolutely like that there's a lot this year. There seems to be, you can go up to, up now again there seems to be a lot more blenders this year and uh, it really makes it easier for you to select um, what you're gonna make out of the fabrics right so th those are all the fabrics that is the layer cake that we have but we also have the two and a half inch strips there's 31 pieces in here and the little bitty um, piece of gum the two and a half inch squares two and a half inch squares and then we also have um, the um, charm, square charm squares too and when you go to every store um, no purchase necessary you're going to get one charm square and a pattern for a quilt block we forgot to bring our quilt block in didn't we we did we i just thought of that time. well Me we too. gotta see save some mystery absolutely for next week. but you get a pattern for an eight inch quilt block and you can um there is a, a, a statewide quilt that is will be in one of the shops. I'm not exactly sure where it will be at, but we'll let you know on one of our of our emails. But we want to share with you some of the kits that we have available, some of the things that we have been making. And let's start right here in front of me. Now this is a pattern. I don't know if this is. This is called Summer Somerset Honeybird. Hummingbird, and it's in Table Tastic 3. Let me get that. Oh, I got a double set. Okay, so this is Table Tastic 1, but we, it's in Table Tastic 3, so I don't have that pattern oh, in here with sorry. me. Sorry, okay. Um, I thought I did. But I don't see the pattern, the kit for this. It's right here. Oh, Charm Pack. Charm Pack panel, black fabric, done. So that is the Hummingbird, and this is one of the panels that actually has two two panels the other one's the hummingbird can we find that hummingbird well we'll just find it when, when we, we it. when we get to it because it's okay i have them carefully stacked okay then the next little thing is this and i made these um little bags this is actually we made with the leftovers but your charm packs you want to grab that one sure. the charm packs or your um leftovers or the mini charms will be great for these little bags and they're Sweet Jane's patterns. And we didn't make kits for these because you can just pick up a charm pack, um, a little bit of lining fabric for them. Or from your, your off cuts from your other uh, projects. Truthfully, I made a lot of these samples and what I made them out of was my leftovers. So, but these are fun little bags to have. And we have a great selection of these zippers in our store, so make sure you pick them up when you come in. But these are patterns you'll want to have. Absolutely. 
Then the next one we have, everybody loves the lady slippers. Yes. So it's called Churnover. So some churn dash blocks and just a fun little um, table runner with the lady slipper fabric with the blue background. And then also just some white background fabric and a fun, easy make with a pattern, a uh, single pattern, a little, like it's like a recipe card pattern, I like to call them. And some of these kits, make sure you pick up binding. We'll say if it has it, like this one does not, but everyone has a different idea of what their binding might be because I thought it should have orchid. Marsha thought it should have green. She owns the shop we put green on. So <laughs> we often do not include our binding on our quilts for that very reason because right. everyone has a personal taste. So, so that's cute. And this has kind of been become a tra traditional oh, thing over the years that we kind of find a um, set of tea towels. This year we got them from Park Designs and it's actually a set. So it comes together, you get three tea towels. Why don't we go down here, shall we? You bet, I think you should Real show quick. this close up. So it comes in a set of three, and so we have the plaid, and then you have the strip to make this little guy, and you can make it any size. There's really no pattern in, in the thing, but you have the fabrics to make the, the embellishments on these. Now this one is just kind of a plain towel with a stripe here. And I ruffled up some fabric, so you've got enough here to make a double ruffle. Of course, I, I ruffled it on the machine. You can do that too, or you can mm -hmm. do it the old-fashioned way. And then also this one is kind of a larger um, window pane um, squares on a linen towel, and we use this. And then just for fun, I didn't do anything with this, but everybody gets the dishcloth to go with. These are not available separately. They come all in a kit with the these fabrics for embellishment all three towels and the dishcloth lots of fun you're going to want this i collect them yearly i, I think know. they're so much fun and you know they're great for hostess gifts or if you're going up to somebody's cabin hint hint and maybe they need some new dish towels i thought you just made your own yeah, i did <laughs> i really did. i'm just teasing you i was thinking the operative word in mine was is i collect them every year that doesn't mean i finish them that's for the quote behind us so do you want to no it is not this is called grand prize panel kit this is the one we don't have made so next oh. week they have something to look forward to because we'll make sure that i give susie some time to make, to make this it. okay but it's going to be really beautiful it's the it's the panel with the blue background and then we are Doing, putting some blues around it. Nice. All right, this one is just cheerful. This one is fun. So I kind of really am partial to the floral with the purple in it. So we made this. This again is um, Mansfield out of Table Tastic 3. Um, this is a Doug Lico pattern. And it's just got some fun. It's got the Minnesota dots. It's got a couple of grunges in here that go with it really well too but really a fun table runner for outside on your deck or brighten up your kitchen table or whatever you want to do, but out of the Minnesota fabrics and a little bit of grunge and some black. So this is fun. Mansfield out of Statistic 3. And look at how sweet these are, Marsha. I mean, what's not to love about those, cute, right? Cute little kits. All right, next one. Oh, there's the one we were talking about. So this is the other half of that Minnesota panel, and we made them both using... The one was hummingbirds, and this one has um, deer on it. And we made them with the same pattern out of Doug Lakos. This is a great little wall hanging or a table tapper. It's called Somerset. And it's from the book Table Tastic 3. So make sure you have the book. We have it in stock. If you don't, you can order it with your Minnesota stuff, and we'll there's, put it all together. Yep, there's two different kits. They're exactly the same, put together the same, but one has the deer, and the other has the hummingbirds and the swing on it. So... Both and it will great. say on the tag which it is. Yes. Okay. This is one of my favorites. Now, I... This is made with the blenders out of the quilt, Minnesota. Not any of the toss fabrics or anything, but just the blenders. Um, and this turned out really nice. This one is called Waybridge, Waybridge out of Table Tastic 3 as well. This is Doug Laco pattern. Oh my goodness, I love this. It kind of has... It's kind of a log cabin-y look with the stars in the middle. And look at this sweet little kit. Very fun to make, too. And these 
cute little tiny ginghams. Those aren't in the Minnesota I fabrics, know, but, but they know, go really, really well. Sometimes yep. you just have to add a little something something to well, them. Well, I didn't have quite enough, so I did have to add those to make it all work because I wanted it to be really tone on tone. Um, none of the, you know, if you cut up some of those toss fabrics in here, you kind of lose the the you element. Do. I think them. they're beautiful. Yep. yep. And then the background is the is the Minnesota fabric of the of the beige circles or dots or whatever mm -hmm. you want to call it. So this was this was a really fun make. Okay, this is a classic one right here. Oh yes, of course. Always very popular here is the swoon. So this is the mini swoon, and we use the Minnesota words, but we did use a, I think it's a grunge. I think it's a motor grunge just to show off those Minnesota words. So this is mini swoon and it's in green and it's just a cute little, cute little kit. Fun it little easy adorable. make. Yep. Uh, mini swoon. Yep. All right, how about the two for deal? Yep, we got a two for set here. So this is called floaters and I'll let you hold up the table runner. So this is a floaters table runner and it uses a mini charm and the tossed states on the beige background for the middle, the focal fabric. And we just used some plain bat black to go around it, but there was enough left of the leftovers. And on the bottom of the pattern, I just gave a quick couple of sentences how to make this. So this is just with the leftovers that I had. You can make a just little bitty, it's really, <laughs> the pillow is included, so you have everything you you need. <coughs> it's really this, and I did it a couple times, three times here. So yes. with the leftovers, you don't have enough for the back, and then to make a on the outside, I use the leftovers of this this toss print. But this comes with the pillow and enough fabric pattern to make this, and you can make this as well. You, you will could. need backing, so as Marcia said. You will need though. backing, backing for this. This really too could be just a little uh, table topper for a small little occasional table too. Right. It would not have to be made. So the pillow. coffee table, and then you got the little end table. I know, or this little cute pillow oh, for your chair. Exactly. <laughs> so never have enough pillows. No. All right. Should we do and this next? It does next? come with a pillow. Oh, this is I an insulated this is so cool. bag. So this is made with Minnesota fabrics and just a one piece of grunge. But um, this kit comes like this and it is insulated so you can take this to the grocery store and put some of your cold foods in here and bring it home. But it comes, this is uh, June Taylor, one of the Quilt As, Quilt As You Go patterns uh -huh. and it's got the insulated, I think this is called Insel Insel Bright. Bright. And it's got the lines on it, so it's quilt as you go. And the instructions are in there, and here are all the fabrics. And you can, of course, arrange them on this bag however you want. But this is a lot of fun. It doesn't, it has, well, it has the Insel Bright in it. It wouldn't have to be used for a insulated bag either. It's just a nice. It's a beautiful bag. Yep. And I was just gonna say, it has a bottom a reinforcement piece in this yes. kit. And it comes with a strapping to reinforce the color straps that we put on there. So Correct. all of that is in this So yeah, there is kind of a, a kind of a flexible acrylic uh, bottom for right. this bag in there too. Woo hoo! I know. All right, we're getting to some of the bigger pieces. Should we keep going? Yep, let's keep going. All right, so we have here this adorable kit and this one you named Daring Spit. Spirit. Daring spirit. Daring That's spirit. the name of the pattern. <laughs> um, and so we kind of brightened this one up a little bit to match in with the. Whoops, Let's see. This We're upside down. Yep. To match a little bit in with the um, brighter tones that are in here. Um, so with some fun, some fun bright greens, and if you want to lower it down. On all four corners, it has these stars. Can't really see it so great. But anyways, we'll have these hanging in the store. And there is full pictures of them too. Um, if you, you want to tell them where they can find the kits for these and the full pictures? Yes, so on our website, pnqs.net, 
underneath the shop tab all of the items that we feature each Wednesday on the show are underneath the Wednesday live featured goodies and I think Susie's been putting links in the comments as we go along right. as well and so there's the kit for that one I know look at this beautiful bundle of color yep that's lovely a little bit brighter a little bit brighter greens all right the and next one again. look at this little little oh this little is pack really a favorite and it's gender neutral this would be a great guy quilt so we have the quilt minnesota fabrics and a couple of other fabrics to make this do you want me to stand up with this one no because well, it here, isn't going to help it isn't really going to help oh that's true <laughs> so anyways it has the diagonal the pattern on this one's called seaside park and you have enough fabrics in here to make it and i forget what size it is it is 55 by 66 a lot of fun really a lot of fun on this one i can take that this way and you already said it includes these fun little word multicolored words yep and the a lot of the critters yep in the brown floral and the states in here and a couple of the other ones too. So what okay. do we have left? I think the one behind us. Oh Patches yeah. Patches and panel. So this one's called Patches and Panel. This is fun. This utilizes the, um, was this nine and a half inch block panel? But these are the blocks with all of the, the lady slippers and, well you can't really see, you can only see these two here. And then it has also a nine patch here with a diagonal going down uh, kitty corner on this one so this right. of course is way bigger than what you can see here again you can look on the on the page to right see and the there's picture. a picture on the on our pattern of what this looks like right exactly so it's um kind of bordered in uh, dark blue grungy color and then all of the Minnesota fabrics are in here with the accent of it's not a Minnesota fabric, but it shows them off absolutely perfectly. It does. Yeah, it does. So we kind of stuck with the blues that were in the Minnesota fabrics, and then we also added this beautiful green. Yes. The background or the blender fabric. So that is our our big quilt. One of our big quilts. We have the brown one, and we have the blue one, and then we have the one that's not done <laughs> that we'll next show you week. next week. So. So I'll just remind everybody, Quilt Minnesota Shop Hop starts Friday, July 28th. It is free to participate. You will need to fill out a passport at the first shop that you stop at. You'll be asked to show your ID because we need to make sure you are you because there are prizes associated with the passport as you uh, progress to the other shops. I don't want to forget about the trivia question. Oh my gosh, yes, they've been hanging on. I know it. So let's get to the trivia question, then we'll talk a little bit more about Quilt Minnesota and what's going on here. Okay, here we so go. So the trivia question today is, in the late 1800s, charm quilts were all the rage. The common goal was the acquisition of how many pieces of fabrics? I see I have a spelling mistake this morning that oh. I missed. In the late 1800s, charm quilts were all the rage. They also called them postage stamp quilts back there. Mm -hmm. So they were small pieces. The common goal, its it wasn't the five inch pieces that we know as charms right now. No, the little two and a half. Yep. No. Even smaller. Postage two. stamps, one like, inch finish sometimes. Oof. I know. But the common goal was to have at least how many pieces of fabric in it? And the first one that gets the answer to Susie's desk will be the winner. Um, and remember, everybody's computer speeds are a little bit different. Um, so you so, sometimes you might think you're first, but you might not be. But everybody's a winner here. I see a correct answer. So we'll see who's the right okay, one. Okay, we'll wait for Susie. We'll wait Anyways, for her. so about Quilt Minnesota when it starts, um, we are, uh, Pine Needles is part of the southeast section. And we have a wonderful bundle of fabric for you. We'll show that next week um, for going to each of the five shops. So you'll get a great, it's a bundle of 10 Moda Fat Quarters. And it's by... It's Midnight Garden. It's called Midnight Garden. It's beautiful. And we have some uh, quilts that are made up with that uh, fabric here. You'll get to see at Pine Needles. And I'm sure the other shops will have things as well. And then also we're known as... The home of the 
half yard chunks. Yes. So it's two for five dollars. It's Moda Bella solids, and each store has tubs of them, and you can with a purchase and I forget how much so I'm not going to say how much the purchase is because I don't want to get it wrong you can select two of them for five dollars isn't that a wonderful deal? it is a wonderful deal so we have the go into all the shops you get the premium of the 10 uh, fat quarters which are absolutely beautiful plus the the chunks yep the five dollar chunks so for two our our winner is Vicki Davis. Vicki Davis. Congratulations. Yay. Yay. Okay, so the answer is 1,000. You want 1,000 or that more pieces in your quilt. That is what the goal was back then for the charm quilts, or we call them postage stamp quilts now mm -hmm. because the pieces were that little. I don't know. It'd take a long time for me to count out 1,000 pieces. It sure would. wonder what 1,000 pieces looks like in a quilt like what is the size maybe the littles club will do it someday. maybe maybe we'll figure we might that have out. to have a postage stamp exchange that would be an interesting thing okay Absolutely. we have one more thing though we have our we do have, do have the auction, but i do want to talk about okay. the sale the semi-annual clearance sale on the end of december through the middle of january we usually have one and then we also have one um in july middle of july through next week um mm -hmm. right before the couple days before the uh, quilt Minnesota starts we always have so right now we had a price drop today so we've had things thank you so much for all the shoppers we have been overwhelmed at how much fabric has gone out the doors Susie is it, oh, we had dumpsters full of empty bolt things right anyways um so this is our last price markdown and everything that was 25% off is now 50% off. Everything that was 50% off is now 75% off. And we added a bunch of great, great Halloween fabrics in at 25% off today. Plus we have kits and everything else. And um, totally unheard of is the remainder of the baby lock uh, supplies and accessories. There's not a whole lot left, but there are some really good things left. There are magnetic like there's hoops some walking for the feet. Yep, some mm -hmm. walking feet. Um, it's 90% off now, so we want them to find a home with you and not be here in our sale room any longer. So let's look at the auction quilt. Oh my goodness, this once was one of my favorite quilts. This is, a, this is a fun one. So happy Halloween. This is a beautiful, beautiful Halloween quilt. It's made with <clears throat> our signature Salem Road quilt by Doug, and it features the panel blocks, as you can see, and... Um, jelly rolls, really fun. So if you're one of those that loves to decorate your couch, your bed, whatever, your wall with Halloween things, you're going to want this Halloween quilt. It is really fun. It's bright, cheerful, and I love it. Me too. I Me just too. don't need so many. <laughs> so I think that is it for today. Remember that we have our Bernina um, Festival sale going on and the 21st which is in two days, or mm -hmm. you can come in right now because we have um, up to 60 month financing on sewing Bernina sewing machines. And um, through the, the, is it through the, through the 31st? We don't the know. The 21st through the 31st for right. financing. We've got some financing and great deals. There's bundle deals. Oh my goodness. We haven't seen those for a while. And there's only one koala cabinet left to purchase in our shops because oh, we, we, we had a floor third, model floor sale. model sale. So that's all that's left. So if you've been wanting a Koala cabinet, you need to come in and get it. But we have lots of the machines with the bundles. I mean, bundle stuff. You oh need to goodness. come in and see them. And that includes the entry level sewing machines all the way up to the long arms. We've got some great deals on the long arms with bundles. And um, we've got Mason here helping Grandpa and Kendra right now in the tech room. And so um, they're set up to deliver these to you as well. Right. <laughs> so if that's been something you've wanted, it's a great time to buy. We've got financing, we've got bundles. So it's a great time to buy a Bernina right now as well. So I think we're going to button that up for today. Did I forget anything? I don't think so. Right. Not that I can remember anyway. <laughs> All right. So thank you so much uh, for joining us again here Wednesday for the Marcha and Joy Show coming to you live from Pine Needles Quilt and Sew in Rochester, Minnesota. And until next time, we will keep you in stitches. Bye-bye, everybody.